B Vital's unique research program is based at the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences at the University of Strathclyde, one of the UK's leading researchers into natural medicines. The research team is composed of Dr. David Watson, Dr. Veronique Sidal, and Elham Peifu. Together they will be exploring the varying chemical and biological properties of propolis from different parts of the world. This particular research is concerned with elucidating the composition of propolis, which is um, a natural product mixture made by bees, and it contains many, many different components, um, and it appears that propolis has quite a range of biological activities. These biological activities may be due to either a single component or all the components acting together. To do this, we're going to apply a range of uh, different analytical techniques, um, uh, ranging from uh, high pressure liquid chromatography to mass spectrometry of various descriptions and uh, eventually nuclear magnetic resonance uh, spectroscopy. Elm at the moment is focusing on the use of high pressure liquid chromatography and profiling the propolis, so she's developed a method for extracting and separating the polar and the waxy fractions of the propolis. The polar fractions she is putting through the high pressure liquid chromatograph and the waxy fractions she is then taking to the gas chromatography mass spectrometry instrument and analysing those using the technique that's more suitable for those parts of the propolis. Clinical trials are being conducted in a number of key areas where propolis has traditionally been found to be useful. Dr. Philip Wonder, a leading dentist in the UK, has pioneered the use of propolis in dentistry. One of the other things we do nearly every patient, in fact there isn't a day goes by, is there a case that we don't use propolis? We just apply a little bit of the cream, it makes things a lot more comfortable, and if the patient's got little cracks in the corner of the mouth, Essentially, it shouldn't be painful, but it can be uncomfortable. Little cracks in the corner of the mouth, they don't open up. The things heal a lot, a lot quicker. So we would uh, just spray the propolis. Hopefully. Usually a little blob like that. And what, there's only a tiny bit of that, just there. So just pop it on. It's a bit sweet like honey, it's not too bad. i just close now. You feel the pain's gone? It's incredible, it's just like that. Amazing. There's a, a decayed tooth, a, a deciduous tooth, a baby tooth, and um, there's a swelling at the side, the gum's quite red, and it's all when I touch it now. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do is paint it with some proper tint. The pain will go immediately. I'm just going to paint it just on the gum. And a bit right in my hole. There you go. Does that feel like it's gone numb or something? Yeah. yeah and the pain's gone now. Brilliant. As a dentist, we treat lots of patients who suffer from mouth ulcers. These are generally stress-related, and they've got a self-limiting lifespan of about 14 days. Normal proprietary brands of mouth rinses don't tend to make much difference, and it usually says, try it for 14 days. But the ulcer will go away in 14 days anyway, and it's generally related to stress. The other day, the other day I had a very, very nasty ulcer. Of a picture of it here, very painful at the back of my mouth, it was affecting my speech, it was affecting my ability to swallow. I spoke to Mr. Wanda who recommended a propolis solution, a homeopathic remedy, to apply to the ulcer two to three times a day. 48 hours later, all scarring gone, all symptoms gone, and the ulcer completely disappeared. I was amazed.